Hi, I'm Sarah, the designer for JewelrySupply.com. Let's do a quick project with stretch bracelets. Finishing off stretch cord bracelets is a really easy thing to learn. So here I have a couple of Swarovski's brand new oval beads that I've strung in a repeating pattern on one millimeter stretch cord. The colors that I'm choosing to use are Peridot, Chrysolite, and Indicolite. So the first step that you're going to do, obviously, is to cut the length of cord off the spool. So allow yourself a little cord to work with. You don't want to cut it right next to the beads because we need something to get our hands on. Some people, when they're finishing off stretch cords, swear by using crimp beads. And while there's no rule that says that you can't use it, keep in mind that if you are going to use crimp beads, try to use something that's of a higher quality crimp bead. Only because if you wind up seeing any type of jagged edges on your crimp tubes, eventually if you put that onto your stretch cord bracelet, those little jagged edges are going to work their way through that stretch cord and you're going to lose your bracelet. The alternate to doing that is to do a knot, and that's what I'm going to show you right here. So the first step is to just do a quick knot, just like this, you know, like what you would do if you were beginning to tie your shoelaces. Super, super tight. Make sure that you are pulling the stretch cord all the time that you're working with it. You're not going to break it. You can get a little rough with it. And then you're just going to do another quick little knot. Then you're just going to pull it tight. See how far I'm stretching it out? And it's still not going to break. Keep pulling. And what that's doing is it's pulling all the slack out throughout the whole bracelet. Just keep pulling tight. And there you have it. Now for added security, you can do a quick overhand knot in the end. So just like this. And with your thumbnail, get it right there next to that knot and cinch it so it's up next to that, that first knot that you put in there. And then pull that tight. And if you need the help of any of your tools to do this, by all means do so. And just pull, 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 and keep pulling. Now to, to secure these knots a bit further, you might want to use a little bit of glue, or like what I have here, the GS Hypo Cement, and just a small little drop of these knots, and allow it to sit and dry completely. And that's all you need to finish off stretch cord bracelets. There you go. Now you're all set.